Hey, someone finally bought the show stack house. We have new neighbors, Garfield. <sighs> I don't care, just so long as they barbecue. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> It's gonna interrupt my uh, 2.17 in the afternoon nap. <sighs> the pest alarm! Who's here? Oh no, Drusilla and Minerva. A card. Do not open until Christmas or when twins leave. They'll never find me in here. I hope, I hope, I hope. Hi, Uncle oh. John! Drusilla! Minerva! No, I'm Minerva. She's Drusilla. We've come to play with the kitty cat. Yes, they just arrived. Oh, they ran upstairs to find Garfield and play dress up. Garfield? No, he doesn't mind. Let them dress you up in the new fall fashions and see how you like it. Kitty cat! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hiding place! I need a hiding place. Garfield! Where are you? We have lovely, lovely designer gowns for you! Let's have a party! This is where those new neighbors are moving in. I'll, I'll hide in their yard. I'm safe. I'm safe. Hey, Cat. <gasps> you want to play pirate? I don't think uh, I want to do that, no. Hey, Cat. You want to play pirate? Hey, how do you get here so fast? No, I don't think I want to play pirate. I said, do you want to play pirate? How did he? Over there. He was, but now he's... I should, oh. You want to play pirate? Just what I don't need. More twins. I'm Lester. He's Chester. I'm Chester. He's Lester. We're Chester and Lester. I'm Garfield and leaving. Whoa. Come on. Let's, Let's play pirate. No, no. But don't just sit there with the remote control in your hand. Help the poor kitty cat. Odie thinks he went this way, Drusilla. You're Priscilla. I'm Minerva. All right. You always get us confused. Huh? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna like playing pirate. Arr! What shall we do with this scurvy knave, matey? Make the scurvy knave walk the plank, Captain. Ha <laughs> ha! Aye aye, matey! That <laughs> <laughs> was right. I don't like playing pirate. <laughs> Poor kitty! We have to rescue him! Don't worry, Garfield! We'll clean you up! Let's give him a bath! Let's give him some Help! Back. Someone hey, rescue cat. me from the hey, rescue! Cat. Hey, come back here with our scurvy knees! Yeah! We were playing pirate with them! <laughs> Garfield! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Nice dog! You're just playing around! Don't leave us alone, dog! It's okay, boy! Watch his ears! Stub his tail! Clean his eyes! Garfield! I'm dry. Couldn't I walk the plank instead? He still smells like mud. Let's go get some perfume! Yes, perfume! Like a daffodil! It smells so sweet! We gotta get out of here. I have to move to another country. Any of you know a country where there are no twins, where it's illegal to look like anyone else? Oh no! Let's play cowboy yeah. with them. Cowboy is cool! I don't want to play cowboy. On the other hand, 
At least I won't wind up in the mud again and have to get another bath. Huh? What? Well, what should we do with this lily-livered sidewinder, <laughs> Sheriff? Make the lily-livered sidewinder walk the plank, Deputy. Sure enough, <laughs> Sheriff. <laughs> I would have done the exact same thing. Come back with the kitty cat! We have to condition him. What shall we do with this scurvy knave, matey? Make the scurvy knave walk the plank, Captain. The scurvy knave will save you the trouble. Yeah. <laughs> now we have to condition him. No, I can't take any more of this. No more twins. No more twins. We want to play dress up with a kitty cat. We want to play dress up with a kitty cat. We want to play dress up with a kitty cat. We want to play dress up with a kitty cat. No, save me from the twins. We want to play cowboy with the kitty cat. We want to play pirate with the kitty cat. We want to play pirate with the kitty cat. Help! Save me from the other twins! Hey, hey! Hiya, Garfield. How's it going? Harry. Harry, you gotta help me. I'm being tormented by twins. That's terrible, Garfield. It sure is. What are we gonna do about it? Oh, no! Twin Harrys! I'm trapped in Twin World where there's two of everyone. It's, it's not, not so bad, Garfield. So what if he looks exactly like me? What do what you mean? mean? I don't, I don't look, look like you. You, you look, look like me! me. Doggy tongues. <laughs> hey, I know this place and I love it. It's Vito's Pizza Parlor. Buongiorno, my friend Garfield. A lovely hot pizza just for you. Buongiorno, my friend Garfield. A lovely hot pizza just for you. Well, there can be some advantages to this twin business. Oh, joy! A delicious pizza just for me! Oh, heavenly! A lovely pizza just for me! I could eat my napkin, too! Hey, you two! One of those, preferably both of those, are mine! <laughs> this isn't the kind of pizza I want! I want pepperoni, mushrooms, and onions. I want I can't take any more of this. I gotta get out of here. I want meatballs, veggies, and extra cheese. I want peppers, broccoli, and anchovies. I want Canadian bacon, walnuts, and more Canadian bacon. This couldn't get any worse. Hi, Garfield. Garfield, are you all right? I think he's okay, Drusilla. Oh, I think he is too. And you're Drusilla. 
I'm Minerva. Is the cat okay? Yes, no thanks to you. We were just having fun. Yeah, all our video games are busted. There are ways to have fun without video games. There are? Yeah, why don't you play checkers? Or a game with cards? We don't know how to. Come on, we'll show you. Yay! <gasps> <sighs> well, maybe that'll keep him busy for a while. After all those twins, I need two naps, two lunches, two dinners, and no more duplicates for a while. Is that you, Garfield? <laughs> Take a look at what I have here. More twins. <laughs> I just wanted to show him my new full-length mirror. I don't understand that cat. Me neither. <gasps> You guys, but I'm famished. Oh. <laughs> I'm always famished. You have your choice of lasagna or lasagna or lasagna or lasagna or lasagna. Oh, and here we have what a surprise lasagna. Hmm, it's a tough choice, but I think I'll have uh, oh, lasagna. <laughs> Gee. I wonder who repacked my picnic basket. I am adorable. Adorable, am I? <sighs> I wonder what the opposite of adorable is. Oh, yeah, it's Bruno. Hiya, Bruno. Sorry you're not as cute as I am. Then again, who is? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, face reality. I look like this, and you look like this. Oh, oh Help! Help! Raw jealousy! Right behind me! Whoa. You're gonna get it this time, Normal! Somehow, Garfield left us one can of dog food for you, Odie. I'll get him later. Now, let's see if you know who left me anything to eat, which I doubt. Dr. Puzzle. Welcome, fellow fiends and nefarious colleagues, to the third annual Evil Mastermind Convention. Yeah! <laughs> now, how many of you are planning on conquering the world? Could I see a show of hands and tentacles? Uh -huh. Looks like most of you. Well, then, you'll be most interested in the latest must have accessory for world domination. <laughs> The Retro Switcheroo Laser Gun! <laughs> yes, this ingenious device will cause two people to trade personalities. Please give a warm welcome to my nemesis, Secret Agent 00 Nothing. <laughs> he will be the unlucky test subject. And over here, we have a frog. 
I will set the retro switcheroo for a complete personality exchange. <laughs> <laughs> yes, certainly. Uh, I'd like to get some dead flies, please. Shaken, not stabbed. But now, let me demonstrate on two random creatures I shall select with my scopotronic device. Oh, we don't need our test creatures anymore. No! Keep eating like that, Garfield, and you'll never be adorable like me. I don't want to be like you, Nermal. I want people to be able to stand me. These two will be fine subjects on which to conduct my demonstration. <laughs> How come I never realized how cute and adorable I really am? Oh, meow. Mm. Lasagna. Oh. Oh, no. oh, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yes. Yep, right up. We accept cash, credit cards, and checks if you have your evil scientist's ID card. I want two. One to conquer the world with, and one to switch my lawyer's personality with the snakes. How will you know the difference? It looks like it's up to me to stop this insidious Dr. Puzzle. But I'm going to need help. Go. I can't stand that little twerp always saying, I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. He isn't. I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. <laughs> Face it, Bruno. Some of us are cute, and some of us are not. You are not. You. You're acting just like normal! <laughs> I am not acting like normal. I'm adorable, and I'm cute, and I'm acting like normal! <laughs> I'm acting like normal! I must be! I'm starting to make myself sick! Normal! <laughs> oh, it's you, Garfield. I thought it was uh, someone. Normal, we've exchanged personalities. Big, fat, hairy deal. I said when I get my paws on you, Normal! Help! Put me down! Help! Dr. Puzzle, can the retro switcheroo laser gun swap personalities that have already been swapped? I don't see why not. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I don't want to pound Normal. I want to eat lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bruno. You're in for it now. Whoa. Yeah. Help! Yeah. Save me! Ooh, while you're at it, feed me! <laughs> Normal's acting like Bruno, and Bruno's acting like me. I don't understand what's going on. Hey, you, sitting there watching this cartoon. You must know. Well, why don't you just fill me in? I'll what? tell you why you and your friends are acting so oddly today. Good. And also tell me why someone as cute as me is talking to a frog with an English accent. We've all been subject to Dr. Puzzle's personality swapping device. Mm. How do we undo it? I don't want to be like Nermal. I'm this close to milling myself to Abu Dhabi. Get the little cat and come with me. We must hurry. What? Come on, Nermal. Or Bruno, or me, or whoever you are at the moment. I need a nap. <laughs> no, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. <laughs> That's the secret lair of Dr. Puzzle. <laughs> Soon, 
fellow evil scientists, I shall deliver the inventions you ordered. Then each of us will conquer this planet. But there's only one planet. How can we all conquer it? <laughs> You're evil scientist. You figure it out. Wait, we have intruders to deal with. Guards, seize them and feed them to the sharks. Huh? Hey, you leave us alone. It's kind of handy for a normal to have Bruno's personality. Have I mentioned how adorable I am? 68 times and counting. And now, I'm gonna take care of all of you! Personalities stored in the retro switcheroo. I will give you all the personalities of frogs. I don't want to be a frog. Oh, it's what? not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> What do we do now, Frog? How do we get our old personalities back? How? Could it be? Am I me again? The destruction of the machine seems to have undone its effects. You must be pretty happy to be you again. Certainly. You try eating flies all afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> It's almost sundown, guys. Time to start heading for home. So because of that evil scientist, I was acting like Nermal, and Nermal was acting like me, and then Bruno... But now, I'm me again. And that's great because me is the cutest creature on this planet. There he is! <laughs> oh, don't hurt me. I have a cat show tomorrow and another one on Thursday. <laughs> when I get through with you... <laughs> That evil scientist? No, I'm not worried about him. <laughs> now, if I was a fly, I might be worried. Uh -huh. Don't hurt me! You! This threat to the existence of this planet came not from without, but from within. Not from outer space, but from deep within the Earth's core. There, for thousands of years, the Sloth people have dwelled. Dwelled in a kingdom ruled by their leader, King Glor. My people, the time has come for us to conquer the beings who live on the outside of our planet. <laughs> This will be easy, for they are fat and lazy creatures. And we shall make it even easier through the power of... Procrastination. Mm. 
Procrastination is the act of putting things off until a later time. It's the finest way man has invented to get absolutely nothing accomplished. Oh. <laughs> Here we see a demonstration of world-class procrastination. <sighs> Garfield, please take out the trash. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, and you were supposed to clean out the garage. I'll do it next week. And I need you to take a package over to Aunt Idy's house. I'll do it the century after next. <sighs> Putting things off, and putting them off, and putting them off. That is procrastination at its finest. <laughs> Even now, all across the surface world, our transmission antennas are rising. Sending out the procrastination rays to every corner of my planet. Rays that will increase to the maximum everyone's tendency to procrastinate. Cosmic energy bombarded the Earth, instilling in every man, woman, and child a deep sense that everything can and should be done at another time. Huh? Hey, you're a fireman, Bob. Don't you have a fire to put out? Yeah, but I'll do it later. Soon, the state had come to a complete standstill, prompting the governor to call a press conference. With no one accomplishing anything, we have a major crisis. In order to get to the bottom of this, I'm appointing a special committee. One of these days, no much matter. Nobody showed up to hear me anyways. I think I'll just go home and do nothing. Maybe do that later. With the surface world paralyzed, King Glorm began sending his sloth people to seize control of the exterior world. Conquering the surface people will be simple. They won't even lift a finger to fight back. Is there no one up there who will do anything now? No one! <laughs> well, there is one possibility. <laughs> the procrastination ray makes everyone into a total procrastinator. <laughs> However, if there is someone who already was like that, it will transform them into a total non-procrastinator. <laughs> but how could there be anyone who is that lazy? <laughs> No, I am not going to... And even as the ray transformed the puppy into a procrastinator, it changed the cat into the exact opposite. Yes, I will throw the stick, and I'll throw it now, now, now! Go get it, boy! Go fetch the stick! What do you mean? You'll fetch it later. I can't worry about that. I have things to do now. Garfield became the most ambitious creature on the face of the planet. He took out the trash. He cleaned up the garage. He even took John's package over to Aunt Ivy's house. Don't say anything. You're not really in this episode. I'm not due for dinner for three more hours, but I think I'll have it now. One of the advantages of not putting mm -hmm. things off. <laughs> but Garfield now seemed to be the only one who felt that way. I was going to make a pot roast, but I'll do it 
<sighs> Later. No, no, now! Do it now! Oh! Besides, I can't go to the market. My paycheck hasn't arrived. Paycheck? I'll get it for you. <sighs> the mailman wasn't delivering the mail. I'll get around to it sooner or later. Probably later. How am I going to get anything to eat? I know. Vito. Even Vito the pizza maker was? Well, you know where this is going. Ah, my little pussycato. I shall make you not one, not two, but ten delicious pizzas. Yes, yes, go. Do that now. As soon as I return from my vacation in Italy. Oh! <laughs> Jen won't do anything. Odie won't do anything. The mailman won't do anything. Vito won't do anything. What has caused this? The cat pondered the problem, unaware that its cause was but blocks away. What? How could he have imagined that King Glorm and the sloth people from the center of the Earth were at the park at that moment, flocking to the surface, massing to begin the total conquest of the world? Sloth people? Conquest of the world? Oh, tell me more. They had used the procrastination ray to... I'll tell you some other time. No, tell me now. Even the narrator won't do anything. I said they were at the park. Before nightfall, the people of Earth will be our slaves. What good are they? What do you mean? Earth people don't do anything. What good are slaves who don't do anything? Yeah! Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. Oh, I know! Once they are our slaves, I can push this button to reverse the procrastination rays and make them useful. Oh, yeah. Hail Glorm, ruler of the world! <laughs> so, let us enslave the surface dwellers, and then I shall push this button! Here, Smiley, I'll save you the trouble. An Earth creature actually doing something! Seize him! <laughs> He said to press this button. Hey, I'm going to prepare dinner. And while I'm cooking, I'll throw the stick so you can fetch it, Odie. I can do two things at once. I can do ten things at once. Mr. Arbuckle, I brought your mail. Your paycheck's in here. <laughs> Everywhere he ran, the brave cat was pursued by sloth people. Hey, it must be working. My narrator's back. He ran as fast as he could, but soon he was trapped. Uh-oh. Like he said... Give me the device, and then we will destroy you. Wonder what happens if I press this button that says, Procrastination Rays for our side. <laughs> This creature will be eliminated. Ah, but we could do that later. Wow! Nice of them to label this thing like that for me. We shall conquer the surface world, but we'll do it in a few thousand years from now. And so the sloth people and their leader returned to their city at the center of the earth, not to be seen again for a long, long time. Oh, 
coyote. Looks like I saved the world again. And I guess this episode is just about over. All we need is the closing joke. The closing joke. We always like to end these with me saying something funny. So the writer's gonna send over a line for me to do. I should be here any minute. Yep, any minute now. <laughs> Probably on its way. Boy, I hope he didn't put it off. Boy, I don't know about putting things off. comic book shop actually wants me there today to sign autographs. They probably just want to see if you know how to write your name. Right now. Shh. It's my Kate Avenger costume. Just in case there's a world crisis or anyone wants my autograph. The shop's up ahead, guys. I'll bet there's a line all the way around the block of fans who want my signature. time is the line around the block getting here? I just love ultra-powerful guy comics. I can't understand it, Mr. Arbuckle. I advertised for weeks that you'd be here. I thought everyone who loves your work would show up. We are all here. They didn't turn out for you. They didn't even come to see the rarest comic book in the world, ultra-powerful guy number one. <laughs> I thought people would come to see it if I had a copy on display. Isn't that worth like a million dollars? It sure is. The guy who loaned it to me insisted I hire a security guard to stand watch on it. But it didn't draw a big crowd either. Aren't there a few people in the store? Just a few and not enough. I've run out of ideas to attract customers. Looks like I'm gonna have to go out of business. I know what this store needs. Yes, it needs excitement. It needs celebrity. It needs an appearance by the most super of all superheroes. <laughs> the Cape Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Hey, no snickering about the costume. Last week at a convention, I bought the entire run of Colossal Mystery Comics, 425 issues, all in mint condition and sealed in plastic. <laughs> if they're sealed in plastic, how are you going to read them? Read them? I got my whole life savings in this place, and I'm not making enough to pay the rent. Oh, don't worry, Rupert. Something will change. Fate will just walk through the front door. I'm here! <laughs> Okay, well, now I'm over here. It is I, the Cape Avenger, 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 Avenger. It's a real life superhero. It's an overweight cat in a bad costume. Right both times, men. And now I will. Hey, whatever that was, I didn't do it. It sounds like it came from outside. 
My friend Wendell, with the million dollar comic book. I repeat, I didn't do it. Not my fault, whatever it is. It's gone. The copy of Ultra Powerful Guy number one is gone. I'll call the police. Odie, be careful of that broken glass all over the sidewalk. Hello? Uh, I'd like to report a robbery. A very expensive robbery. Huh? How am I gonna pay for that comic book? I'm ruined. All right, let's run through this one last time. Yeah, it's like I said, officer. This guy in a costume, he looked like a super villain. Ran up outside the window and used some sort of superpower hammer thingy. He broke the window, knocked me out, grabbed the comic, mm. and disappeared. I see. You think you could describe him well enough that our police artist could make a sketch of him? I'll try, but he was wearing a mask. Odie, hmm? this looks like a job for... Fanfare? <gasps> the Kate Avenger! Avenger, Avenger, Avenger! Where's my trusty sidekick, Slurp? Oh, hi, trusty sidekick, Slurp. Where's your costume? Well, then dream one up. Use your imagination. How many times do I have to tell you the sidekick can't have a better costume than the hero? No time to change. There's a super villain lurking about. Let's roll! You're probably wondering if there's an origin story for the caped Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Well, there is. Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot, so my disguise must be able to strike terror into their hearts. I will base my costume on the next thing I see. Senor, huh? here is the pizza you ordered. Of course it will scare everyone. It has anchovies on it. <clears throat> All right. Better? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Let's find a despicable repulsive supervillain to defeat. <sighs> because that's what heroes like us do, that's why. Nope, no despicable repulsive supervillains around here. Let's eat. Cape Avenger! Cape Avenger! No autographs, and you forgot my echo. There's a despicable repulsive supervillain robbing the bank! Leaping lasagna! Wait, did you say he was despicable? Yes. And is he repulsive? Very. This sounds like a job for the, the Cape Avenger, 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 Avenger. He's also very dangerous. This sounds like a job for the Cape Avenger's sidekick. <laughs> Call me after you defeat him. I'll be in Bermuda. <gasps> there he is now. Hey, Cape Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. I just robbed the bank you keep your money in. What are you going to do about it? The thing any self-respecting superhero would do? Move my money to another bank. <laughs> no, it's too late. He's already stolen my money. We have to get it back. Onward, overdressed sidekick. <laughs> we are here. Want to give up? No. Even though I have incredible speed? Watch this. I'll run completely around the world. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. There was a traffic jam on a highway in Luxembourg. So, want to give up now? No. Even though I have incredible strength, watch as I lift the heaviest object around here. Me. John was right. I need to lose a few pounds. Want to give up now? No, I think I'd rather do this. I think I'll give up the part about arresting supervillains and just wear the suit and look cool. Odie, I came through the wall this way, and the bricks are out here. Huh? Odie, I think I solved the crime. Huh? Yes, crashing through that wall like that reminded me of a story I once read in an issue of Ultra Powerful Guy. Come on. Ultra Powerful Guy, Ultra Powerful Guy. Ah, here they are. Now, which issue was it? Nope, not this one. No, not this one either. Wait, I think this is it. It is. Come on! 
I'll be honest with you, Rupert. The chances of us finding this supervillain and returning the comic book are very slim. So are my chances of staying in business. I have to go back to the police station. Wait! Wait. Superhero to the rescue! I don't have time to read comic books. Here, read this. Read huh? these panels. What are you trying to get me to... Ultra-powerful guy says when a window is broken, the pieces of glass travel in the same direction as the impact. Since the shards of glass were on the outside, that means the window was broken from the inside. That's right. The pieces of glass were on the outside. Which means whoever broke it did it from the inside. Uh, uh oh Stop that man! Let's go! Somebody stop that guy! He won't get away! <laughs> Any idea which way you went, faithful sidekick? Thanks to your super-powered nose, we're on that trail. Sally is a dead end, but if he comes this way, he can use this board to get over the fence. Huh? I think I lost him. Put him out of this yard. They'll never catch me. Another job well done by the Cape Avenger, if I do say so myself. And apparently, I have to. guard confessed. Oh, thank you, officer. <laughs> Don't thank me. The cat is the one who solved the mystery. Yeah, I did. I feel like that really good-looking blind guy in the cartoons with the big scared dog. Why so glum, Rupert? You got back the comic. Yeah, but I'm gonna lose the comic book store. Nothing I do gets customers in here. Excuse me, is this the place we heard about on the news? Where the superhero foiled the comic book robbery. It is! There's the Caped Avenger! Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Looks like you have customers. <laughs> Lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Hey, Batman, eat your heart out. Hey, don't, don't crowd. There's enough of me to go around. get home in time for the news. They're running a story on my favorite topic, me. Oh, I just realized two bad things. One, we're not going to make it in time. And two, I don't wear a watch. The whole town is talking huh? about the Cape Avenger. Wait, that's the story. <laughs> what? Yeah, hi. Hello. Uh, watching uh, this. 
and the mysterious feline vigilante known as the Caped Avenger has become an instant celebrity. Ever since his first dramatic appearance at this comic book store only weeks ago, this video of him capturing a thief has gone viral and is now the second most popular cat video on the internet. The most popular, this video entitled The Cutest Cat in the Whole World. Meow, 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 meow. Huh? Hey, huh? what happened to the TV? I think your singing killed it. <sighs> well, now we'll never hear the end of that news report. What? <laughs> Rupert Dorf runs the comic book shop where the Caped Avenger appeared. How's business, Rupert? Great, people are flocking here, hoping to see him in person, and tomorrow the new Caped Avenger action figures arrive. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Gee, I wonder who the Caped Avenger really is. <laughs> Shh, don't give away my secret identity. Do you have a message for the Caped Avenger in case he's watching? Yeah, I hope he'll come to see all his fans tomorrow when his action figure goes on sale. I even built this Caped Avenger signal to call it. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> well, I think the Caped Avenger is a big show off. Uh. I gotta get me one of those spotlights. <laughs> I guess the Caped Avengers fans love everything about him. Yeah, but you know what they really like? They'd all wish he would have a sidekick. The sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. All the great comic book heroes have sidekicks. Even Ultra Powerful Man gets help from Jeff the Atomic Sparrow. Gee, where could I find a sidekick? Mm. You'd have to be strong. And serious. But with a sense of humor. Odie, you've given me a great idea. Yes, I'm going to hold auditions. Really, Myron? Auditions? That's what I'm hearing. The Cape Avenger will be at the park having trials to be a sidekick. I'm going to go see if he'll pick me. Oh, oh if the Cape Avenger gets a sidekick, he'll become more popular. His video might even be more watched than mine. What am I going to do? Well, I think oh, I'm going to make a Look, up there. Yes, it is I. Too good to be true. Too strong to be beaten. Huh? Too fat to be on this branch. Yeah! Not me, it's the cape. It adds about 10 pounds. Uh, ouch! <laughs> Hello, aspiring sidekicks. I suppose you all know who I am. You're the Cape Avenger! Avenger, 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 Avenger! Yes, and I am here today to find a faithful sidekick to assist me in my heroic activities. Well, I didn't oh, oh, Choose me! Choose me! A super chihuahua. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I can be a superhero! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> now then, being a superhero isn't easy. You spend your days chasing dangerous criminals, falling from buildings, dodging atomic ray blasts. You spend your nights risking your life and limb every second. <sighs> it gladdens my heart to see so many of you willing, even eager to put your lives on the line. What is this job pay? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Bye. Huh? Huh? No, you're not sidekick material. Goodbye. And don't bother leaving a picture or resume. Why is the Kate Avenger so popular? Just because he's got a cool costume and a cool name. I can't wait to get that Cape Avenger action figure tomorrow. Let's go watch his video ten more times. He is, like, so cool. And I am, like, so sick of that video of the disgustingly cute kitten. Oh, what am I going to do? I know. The only one who could beat a superhero is a supervillain. I'll become a supervillain. <laughs> hey, Hercules. Why so glum? Oh, 
They all laughed at my beautiful costume. I just wanted to be the captive sidekick. Hmm. How would you like to be the sidekick to the super villain who will defeat the Cape Avenger? Oh, do I get to wear my superhero costume? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm closing up for the night, Gunther. I'm expecting a big crowd tomorrow. The Cape Avenger action figures arrive and I'm... Hold you later, Gunther. There's something outside I gotta go investigate. Are you still upset I didn't pick you? I need a great sidekick. The Cape Adventure can't look foolish. The Cape Adventure is looking pretty foolish huh? today. What? Rupert, you say the Cape Adventure has a new arch enemy. It seems that way. I spotted them outside my store. And when I checked the Cape Adventure signal I made, this is what I found. Huh? <gasps> the Cape Adventure signal. It makes me look ridiculous. Huh? <laughs> uh, Odie, I have to find that super villain and stop him. Now is when I really need a sidekick. Will you be my sidekick? Oh, please, please. All right, all right. I shouldn't have turned you down yesterday. We'll get you a great costume. <laughs> Good. Let's leap into action. And people are lined up for blocks awaiting the arrival of the new Caped Avenger action figures. <laughs> the action figures seem to be arriving now. Perfect timing. This is going to be a great day for my comic book store. Twenty cases of Cape Avenger action figures. Sign here. You deal with the mailman, Super Chihuahua. Right. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, the only thing worse than a Chihuahua, a masked Super Chihuahua. I'm getting rid of all these Cape Avenger action figures. Oh. oh, no, oh. you're not. Yay! It's the Cape Avenger! Avenger, Avenger! Whoever you are, you're no match for me and my faithful sidekick, Slurp. And he seems to finally have his very own sidekick. <laughs> oh, the Cape Avenger! And now he has a partner. I just decided I don't want to be a supervillain sidekick any longer. Adios! <laughs> Nothing will stop me from getting away with these action figures. Except maybe the fact that I don't know how to drive. Hmm. Oh, what if I push this? Come back, you masked fiend. <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best idea in the world. Hey! <laughs> Nothing can stop me, Kate Avenger! How about if this van crashes into the trash collection center? Yeah! 
and the superhero and supervillain landed amidst the crates of the caped Avenger action figures, which, as it turned out, no one wanted to buy. All interest had shifted to the caped Avenger's sidekick we caught on tape. We're told his name is Slurp, and his fans can't get enough of him. His online video is now the most watched ever, beating out that one of the sickening singing kitten and the one of the caped Avenger. <laughs> Well, Cape Avenger may not care about being in first place, but I do. I'm taking my act to the streets. Wanna join me? <laughs> sure, why not? Meow, 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 me